Hey, Mike Burris here, spiritmusicmeetups.org. Got my drumsticks here. Do you have yours? Sounds like Mr. Rogers. Uh, this thing we're looking at, this file has a lot of great ideas. Mike Burris' favorite teachings. You know, I've collected, I've taught 5,000 plus students since 1998 and been in a lot of bands. And um, I love motivation. So there's, I used to teach motivational things and principles that are in leadership, proactivity, success, goal setting, um, time management, all that stuff in the corporate world uh, in healthcare. I was in healthcare programming. Okay, I was a programmer developer. We were doing software for hospitals and financial systems. So I learned a lot of these things along the way and I apply them to drums and I, I hand these out to students and whatever works, you know, I grew up with sayings, you know, if there's a will, there's a way. And things, you know, uh, if you don't first succeed, try, try, try and again. These things get stuck in you and they really shape the way you think, right? So I try to put some of these down here under different areas. Dreams and having a dream and a vision, the why, focusing and having targets. That So there's a lot of important things there and I have that, you know, without why... You have no power document. I hope you read that one. I have a section under it. So these are just real famous sayings by say, you know, favorite people and some by myself. There's a section called uh, Purpose, Time Priorities, Planning, uh, looking around here, Discipline, uh, Practice. You know, practice is practice until, what is it? There's a saying here. Um, Practice like you want to perform, that's for sure. Don't practice something you're not going to perform. And uh, if you practice, you'll be prepared. You, I don't believe in it makes you perfect. Practice makes you perfect. Um, I don't think there is a thing called perfect. You know, it's, That's a, an illusion in most people's heads. But it does make you more prepared. Prepared for an opportunity that comes your way. So if I'm playing... And really, you know, getting the ability to express myself when an opportunity comes along to do that, a gig, a phone call, then I can, um, I, I will have the ability to um, say, yes, <laughs> I'm ready. I'll take that gig. So there's, are you gifted? Um, you know, a lot of people say, I it takes a gift. No, the gift is that you're consumed and you're really inspired and to do something and you find it enjoying, enjoying enough to do it for a long period of time. I think that's a gift, that you just become obsessed, enjoy, enjoying something, enjoying something. I believe that's the gift. That's, that's a gift that makes the difference, that you really love something and that you will do it for a long period of time and you won't give up because you love it so much and habits make or break you so you do need to practice habit of practice <laughs> there's you know habits make a man make a woman start and stay in motion so a body at rest wants to stay at rest it just will sit there in the sofa and just stay there but a body in motion even drumming there's motions and drumming and it's not about stopping and starting, it's about staying in motion, a circular motion. And so we talk about that, starting and staying in motion. Because a body in, in motion stay, tends to stay in motion, a body at rest tends to stay at rest. I mean, there's certain physics, laws of physics that are either working with you, or you're working with them, or you're working against them, and then they're going to be working against you. So you got to know some basic physics. Uh, keep feeding your dreams. You know, whatever you feed, right, grows. A plant that you don't feed, you don't water, it dies. And a lot of things are dying in this 217 degree weather. <laughs> 200, 117, can you believe that? Today in Tucson, Arizona, wow. 126 in Death Valley. So you got to feed your dreams or they're going to die. Uh, not once a week, you, you know, you got to drink water throughout the day or you're going to really have a problem. Same thing with your dreams. 
Take the shortcut, break it down into small bites, talk about that. How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? How do you go on a journey a thousand miles one step at a time? Instead of it being hard by the yard, cut it up into inches and it'll be a cinch, cinch by the inch. So there's a lot of good ideas there. Watch your language, yes. <laughs> what comes out of your mouth repetitively kind of shows you what's in your heart. And sometimes just I've heard students really berate themselves and they're just, I can't do this, I just can't do this. Well, that pretty much tells your mind and body to not be able to do it. So you gotta be, you gotta watch your language and make it musical. Music is an inside job. So I, I talk about counting and singing the le left brain and the right brain, how that works. Um, what you say, all right, focuses your mind to focus your body. And that is really the way it works. This focuses your mind, very scattery mind going in a bunch of different directions, but this focuses it and then that channels the energy and thought and power and coordination and everything needed for your body to do it. So you gotta use your mouth. Music's an inside job and it comes from within. And so my job is to help you get it inside you then it's in there and you're using it or losing it. And then it comes out of you when we're playing music. So if you can say it, you can play it. So said, if you said it well, it'll keep you out of the DES. SED will keep you out of the DES. Well, SED, DES is Department of Economic Security. It's where they pay people that won't work or can't work. And so I've never had to do that. I've always found a way to work. Some, doing something, shoveling gravel. Um, I don't believe in, there's no such thing as a free lunch. It takes away your honor. It demeans you. Gifts are fine, but begging, that demeans you. It takes away your honor. It takes away your self-esteem. It's humiliating. You can do work. Now, I understand if you can't. That's another story. I, I got sick one time. I had to get health care. Really bad sickness. So if you said it well, support, embellishment, and dialogue. So we talk about what support, embellishment, and dialogue is. It's the three main functions of every musician, and particularly drums. And so we talk a lot about that. Be different. Don't practice mistakes. If you do the same thing that created the problem in the first place, <laughs> seen this happen so many times, they make a mistake, but then they keep doing the same things that created the mistake, the same speed, the same approach, whatever it is. It's insane to think you're going to get different results. That's what Einstein said. But So I say slow down, watch everything you're doing, reprogram your mind, you'll learn a lot faster. Seeing is believing for good technique. So I use a mirror. A mirror is 10,000 words. Uh, best teacher you'll ever have. Very motivating too. Uh, nail each part and then rebuild the whole. So you break things into pieces and you perfect the pieces and you systematically put the pieces back together. There's a process and you will be really great because a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So you got to find out where the weak links are, strengthen those links up, go in and out of that link, make sure the two links on the side of that weak link are you know, strong. So you got this weak link right here and you strengthen this and then you got two links to it. So you learn how to go into the problem area and out of the problem area. You're pulling on that and the link seems to be good and strong. Now the whole chain is a whole lot stronger. So. People hear with their eyes. Uh, the show is more than the music. So that's showmanship. So that's where we get in, you know, twirling and stuff. I, I don't do as much anymore because I'm so focused on the performance. And I'm usually hired just for a one-time gig, make a bunch of money and then leave. So, But in bands that I've been in for a long time, then you get a chance. After you know the songs really well, you don't have to think about them so much. Then you can start adding, you know, stick flipping and, you know, twirling like this, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So, but we, the other players move all over the 
stage, I we had to talk about you know showmanship, we outfits, crazy outfits, crazy hats, you know, antics on stage, wh whatever it is. And um, well, in worship music, you better be totally involved in the worship of God. It's got to be beyond performance, way beyond performance. And that's what this website's all about anyway. So thank you very much for your time on this. I hope you got a lot. Go back through that and, and use what you can. Use it and lose or use it. Use it or lose it, right? Use it or lose it. Take some ideas and play with it. Welcome your com comments below. Add anything else you know, okay?